What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make an authentic hipster logo. So, as you guys can see right now, this is the logo we will be creating in today's video. I have it uh, in a group right now, so I have the textures on it and stuff like that. The textures aren't exactly necessary, but I will show you sort of how to get the textures and how to get sort of this anchor logo and things like that. So starting off, you have um, just a plain black background like this. Just make sure it's plain black. And then you want to get the picture that you want in your background. If you just want it like a normal one, just so you can save it, you obviously don't have to put a background but um, I think I got this one off Google Images, so just go ahead and Google something. I'm just going to duplicate the image that I do have right now, just because it's obviously for the sake of the tutorial. But I recommend, like I said before, just finding it your own image that you do like. If I can find this one, I will leave a link to it in the description down below if you can't find one that you like. So once you've imported it into Photoshop, just uh, make sure the size of it covers the whole background. And then just obviously lower down the opacity a little bit. So Mine was on 100%, they always come with 100% opacity, so just lower that down through around about 85% and uh, that should make the logo stand out a whole lot more. So after that you want to sort of add some lighting effects, if we go back here, if we just close both of those down, I'll actually group them. Um, as you can see here we have some lighting effects on the actual picture itself and um, yeah, so we're going to go back to our actual design that we're making right now. We're going to enable the picture and we're going to make a brand new layer here on the right hand side. Uh, once you've done that, go to the brush tool on the left hand side, select a brush uh, brush size of 800 pixels and the hardness of 0% and then make sure you've got your foreground colour set to black if it hasn't already. And then once you've done that, just press Control minus to zoom out and then use your brush tool which is just add sort of this black brush effect on the sides of the design. Once you've done that you can then lower down the opacity to let's say uh, 20%. So once you've done that make a new layer once again. This time have the same brush size but just do a um, smaller line if that makes sense. So don't cover too much of the actual picture itself and then just lower this one down to around about let's say 10% and then make a brand new one after that change the color to just a plain white and then just add this uh, sort of white brush effect in the center top part of the design and then lower that down that opacity to let's say 45% that looks really good and um, once we've done this we can then add some textures to the background so if I close this you can see I've got one single texture added which makes it stand out and just makes it sort of like makes the logo stand out a whole lot more this is the difference between with the texture and without the texture so uh, just type in say on Google let's just get Google up here let's see type in black texture that's uh, spelled black wrong. black texture and then just uh, we'll take which one will we use just this one that that would do just copy and paste that but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna use the one right here and we're gonna import that into our group as you can see right now and um, what I actually set this to is uh, overlay with a 46% opacity and as you can see it makes it look so much darker and this will make the logo stand out a whole lot more so put your black texture to the blending option overlay and lower down the opacity to 46% now I'm gonna grab my text tool and I'm just gonna click anywhere on the canvas obviously it's selecting this one so it's not gonna work that well let me just close this down and uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a brand new layer and a brand new group, sorry, and call this logo so we can put all our layers inside this. So I'm going to hit anywhere on the screen and I'm just going to type in hipster for the sake of the video. And as you can see here, the font I'm using is called Ventography Personal. Uh, I will leave a link to this in the description down below. It should be a DAF font link if I can find a DAF font link. And as you can see, it looks really nice. You could even leave the logo just like this. It looks really good. But uh, yeah, that's the first part. Just type in hipster. Make sure it's central uh, central on the design. So press Control H to open up your rulers and then just center the actual text itself. So it's in the middle of it, like so. Once you guys have done that, you will need to make a brand new layer here on the right hand side. Go to the pen tool and then just create yourself a triangle. So the way I do this is uh, make sure it's it doesn't have to be as wide as the sort of text itself is. So just copy what I'm doing here now. So just hold down shift, make sure it's a straight line as I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this here 
and then just make sure you finish off the triangle with the middle part and as you can see that triangle doesn't look so good you can use the triangle tool but I think this looks so much better because we can add a stroke and things like that to it so let's just make sure this looks okay yeah that looks good and then once you've done that just right click it go to make selection hit enter and then grab the rectangle marquee tool here on the left hand side right click it go to stroke Make sure the width is on 17px, uh, which stands for pixels, and the color is just on plain white, and then hit OK once you have done. And then pressing Ctrl and D, you can uh, deselect that, and then if we zoom out here so you guys can see, uh, that is the triangle itself. It already looks quite good with the hipster text, but obviously we need to cut out a part of it. I think I did my triangle a little bit bigger than this in the actual design itself. But it really doesn't matter, uh, like the triangle size, obviously. So uh, now what we're going to do is just grab our pen tool over here. And we're going to zoom in just so you guys can see. And holding down shift, we're just going to cut off a bit of the triangle. Sort of so there's a gap between the text. Uh, I'll show you here with that. So as you can see here, there's a gap between the triangle and the text. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. So let's just do this and we'll do it over here as well. Uh, sort of a gap. Let's just put it here. Um, holding down shift to make it a straight line and then we'll go back over here and just do one here as well holding down shift and we'll go over here hold down shift and do it on this one as well let's just move this down here uh, it takes a lot of precision the pen tool but once you get the hang of it it should be quite easy and then we'll just reconnect them right click go to make selection hit enter and then make sure you have your triangle selected and then just press delete on your keyboard and that will delete the triangle and you will get an effect that looks a little bit like this as you can see uh, it's what I did do in the actual design itself the triangle is just a little bit different in size but now that we've done that we need to do a couple other things so now what I'm going to do is just type in anchor logo like this and as you can see there's some ones that are for, sort of like free clip art that you can use so we're going to go ahead and find one that is free to use uh, let's just find a good one right now. I think this one will work quite well So I've just typed in anchor vector PNG and as you can see this is a free to use one So we're just gonna right click this go to copy image go back into Photoshop and then just press Control V on our keyboard Just to make that appear in Photoshop now What we're gonna do is just grab the quick selection tool and just hit the white marks on the design Press delete on your keyboard and that will delete it the quickest way to do it because it's only got a white background it won't affect the uh, sort of image quality of the uh, anchor itself so now we're going to drag that into our logo group we're going to double click it uh, double click the layer that is and this will open up the blending options page once you're on this just click color overlay and select a plain white color once again and then just pressing ctrl t on your keyboard holding down shift and making this a smaller size it will get the same sort of effect that I had in the previous design obviously this triangle is a little bit smaller so we're gonna have to make this a little bit smaller just so it stands out and uh, make sure it's centralized pressing ctrl H will open up the rulers and then just hit enter and uh, yeah zoom out a little bit every now and then just to see if the sizing of the design is, is right and just check if it looks good so now what we're going to do is just grab our text tool once again, hit anywhere on the design and we're going to type in EST, uh, obviously pretty much every hipster logo does have this written on it so we're going to highlight all of this and we're going to use the font called Nexa Bold, I'll leave a link to this in the, uh, in the description down below as well and now we're just going to lower down the sizing of this to let's say... 21.83 that looks good and then just make sure this is on the design right and then pressing ctrl j on your keyboard to duplicate this layer just uh, duplicate it and make sure you've got ctrl h on and just make sure this is the same size gap so it will sort of lock into place when it is we're going to leave it like this and now we're just going to type in on the other side we're going to type in 1987 so as you can see it looks like it's uh, the company was started in 1987 and uh, yeah it's already looking really good just one thing that I would add to this design and that's a white texture um, the one I do use is from Ferox's texture pack I'll get it up right now so as you can see this is Ferox's texture pack um, you, you can just type in uh, let's have a look here just type in white grunge background and that should do it really so yeah let's just grab any one of these really uh, we'll grab this one just obviously right click it go to copy image then go back into Photoshop and press ctrl V on your keyboard 
and um, you will need to have your logo vectorized and sort of rasterized as well so to do this just press ctrl j on that logo group then press ctrl e on your keyboard and that will merge all the layers together as you can see it will just be one single layer and now you can just grab your grunge effect right click it go to create clipper mask and it will add a sort of clipper mask effect onto this and it just looks a whole lot better and it makes the design stand out a whole lot more. Now as you can see we can go ahead and save it. If you want to save it with the background obviously just now go ahead go to save export save for web and save it but if you do want to remove the background go to the background group just click it and uh, just remove it and as you can see it will just be the logo itself and that will save as a PNG file. Anyways guys that is it for this video. Comment down below hipster AF if you made it far into the video and also if you comment down below uh, just any comment it doesn't matter I'm also gonna draw a winner to for someone to actually get this template that I made uh, I was gonna just upload it on my channel like a normal template design but a lot of people have been stealing my template so I don't really want to do this but uh, anyways I will give this to a one lucky person that comments down below you can comment anything and uh, I will draw the winner in tomorrow's video and then I will also contact you and just give you the PSD for you to edit Anyways guys, like I said before, hope you did enjoy the video. This has been Visual or James, and I'm out. Peace. No!